So congratulations, you made it to video number one. I didn't scare you away in the, in the welcome video, so that's a plus there, right? Um, so video number one, why people refinance. So people refinance for a number of reasons, but when it all comes down to it, they fall into one of three categories. Number one, you think it's a sensible thing to do. Number two, you're not fully content with your situation and you're looking for more. And number three, you're hurting financially and you're in need of help of some sort. So let's talk about some of the sensible things to do or what people think are more of some of the more sensible things to do, the things that really just make sense. All right, how about investing? Maybe you have dreams of starting your own business, but you don't have the capital to make it a reality. In this instance, you can pull cash out of your home and utilize it to fund your entrepreneurial ventures. What if you just want to lower your payments, save money, right? By lowering your rate and payment, you can save money in your mortgage and utilize it in other places. But what if you have that nasty mortgage insurance? You know, if you purchase a house with less than 20% down, most lenders require you to have what's called private mortgage insurance. Now what this is is an insurance policy that you pay in addition to your mortgage to protect the lender in case of your default. Now this can be hundreds of dollars a month above your mortgage amount. But the cool thing is once you get your 20% equity in your home, you can refinance into a new loan and eliminate the private mortgage insurance, possibly lowering your payment by hundreds of dollars a month. That makes sense, right? And what if we just want to pay off the loan quicker? You know, interest rates on 15-year loans are always lower than those on 30 on 30-year loans, right? So if you have disposable cash, it may make sense to refinance into a 15-year mortgage and save a ton of money on interest in the long run. Now, I need you to pay very close attention to what I'm about to tell you because this is one of the, the drivers that made me create Home Refi Secrets. It's because a lot of lenders won't tell you about things that I'm going to tell you about right now because these are concessions they can make, but it takes money out of their commissions so they don't like to make them. But understand, there are situations where the lender can offer you concessions by paying all of your closing costs. Getting you a lower rate, keeping your payments the same, and still have you paying off your mortgage years earlier, saving you tens of thousands of dollars in the long run. How does that sound? Most people will never know that. Okay, that's why we're arming you with the information you're going to need to make an intelligent decision. Okay, area number two is we're not fully content and we want more. Okay, maybe you want to take a vacation. You can use the money to take that dream vacation you've always wanted with your family. How about home improvement? The smell of brand new hardwood flooring, the new bathroom, the larger kitchen. All of that can be a reality now. Or maybe you just want a second home. Say you live in Minnesota in those chilly winters and you want to be a snowbird and purchase a winter home in beautiful Southern California. You can utilize the cash out from the refinance to make that a reality. Now area three is where we, mm, this is where you see most of the people that are refinancing their home um, really fall into this category. And it's, they're, they're hurting financially and they're in need of help. And so, Payoff debt is, is one of those things. And the two big ones we see are usually credit card debt and student loans. So say you have 23% um, in credit card debt, you're paying 23%, or maybe even t just 10% on your student loan debt. It could make sense to do a cash out refinance at a lower rate and take advantage of the cheaper money. But even better, you may be able to write off some or all of that refinanced amount. But of course, this all depends on how long you plan to stay in the home and how many months it takes for you to break even on that refinance, okay? Very important, the break even point on the refinance. Make sure you shouldn't even have to tell your lender that. Your lender should make that well known to you after running the numbers, okay? We're gonna discuss that further, the break even point in video four, which is the pre-qualification and application process. So how about if we want to, we have a, one of those nasty adjustable rate mortgages that's about to adjust. Many homeowners get caught up in these arms 
when they initially buy because they're easier, it's easier for you to qualify to get into the home. Now when the arm's ready to adjust, you can be left with a payment that's no longer affordable for you and your family. Refinancing into a fixed product at a lower interest rate can leave your mortgage at a level that you can still manage. I mean, it, it, it's really cool. And there's also just lowering your payment. Maybe that couple hundred dollars a month would really free up a lot of things for you and you wanna lower your payment because it, you're in that financial crunch. Sometimes, you know, life throws unexpected things your way and leaves you in a rut. The hundreds of dollars a month you can save on a refi could literally mean the difference between you floating or drowning. So let's just recap on the three different areas that we see that, you know, cause people to, to want to refinance their homes. The first is, you know, it's just a sensible thing to do. It just makes sense, right? The second is you just want more. You're not fully content and you wanna do something bigger. And the third one is you're hurting financially and you're in need of help. So understand that your problems are your problems. Your wants are your wants and your needs are your needs. And those things are real to you. And so it's only you can determine if this is a right fix for you and your family. So this wraps up video number one, which is why people refinance. Now it's up to you to determine if you have that need for refinancing. Remember in the welcome video, we talked about the INF3 process. Now again, the I is for information, giving you all the information you need to make an educated decision. The N is determining if there's a need for you, if it will benefit you and your family, and the F is for the fit. It's taking this information, determining you have the need, and now going out and finding a trusted advisor to walk you through the process, okay? We're gonna introduce you to the INF3 process in the next video, video number two, where we discuss brokers versus lenders. As always, if you have questions at any time along this journey with us, you can always click the button below, book a call with one of our vetted loan specialists who will answer your specific questions based on your specific situation. Once again, thanks for joining us on video number one, Why People Refinance, and we'll see you on video number two. JFK to LAX, my mics get checked. Coast to coast, I rock at most times, no sweat. Me to you, get what we do, and never forget. Now's the time for la 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 to take your...